Alrighty, hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our tank, as you guys can see. Now, a few of you guys were talking about this, and you said, maybe make the turret a little bit bigger, because it looks a little bit too small. And honestly, we got quite a few comments about that, so I think today, we're going to go ahead and try and extend the turret to be a little bit bigger, and we're also maybe going to put an engine in this thing. So, let's go ahead and get straight to it, shall we? Alright, so, uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go about doing this, but I think we're going to go and delete this guy right here. I'm going to delete these guys. Oh, actually, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, let's grab this guy, and we'll go all the way backwards like this. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that is okay, actually. Let's grab that guy as well, and this guy. And then I think we should be able to just cut this. And move it forwards to about here instead. There we go. That looks like it'll actually be a really good uh, size turret. So from there, we need to move all of these guys forwards as well. In fact, how far forwards have I moved this? Probably like three blocks, maybe? Three blocks. Let's go with that. So let's go down to here. Go up to there. All the way down to here as well. Uh, across there as well. There we go. And we're going to have to cut that and move it forwards too. Although, actually, the way that we need to do this is we need to grab everything and do it that way. But I don't want to do it like that. Mm, so I'm not sure what to do. Actually, if we just cut this. Hey, there we go. One, two, three. Oh, that might not be good. Oh, maybe, though. Maybe. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and put that into there. Put this into here. Go ahead and attach all of this across the top. There we go. I was going to say there we go. But actually, it's not doing it. What the bums? What the bums? And I didn't do it on both sides either, so we need to now put this in. Oh, and sort out the other bit too. Alright, well that's fine. So, what do we think about this as a turret size now? Yeah, no, this is gonna look good. Let me sort it out and I'll get back with you guys in a second. Okay, so there we go. We've extended it and honestly, I think that looks really good. Just a little bit of an extension forwards definitely changes the way this looks. So, let's go ahead and get inside if we can. There it is. Uh, sit in this seat and see what it looks like when it moves. Okay, we're gonna need infinite electricity. Okay, yeah, nice. Oh, that looks way better. I think we're gonna have to extend the barrel a little bit. And also, I don't know whether... Oh, we can actually go through that. That's crazy. All right, cool. Yeah, so this works. This actually totally works. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna have a bigger barrel, but then we're good to go. Okay, so, uh, I don't know how I want to extend this, but let's go ahead and grab these two right here, or three, I guess. Move them out of here. Go to barrel, and extend it. So, one, two, I guess, and then go ahead and shove this on there. Paste, there we go. Merge this guy with this guy, spawn it in. Yeah, that looks sick. That looks so cool. Nice. Okay, so, uh, what else is there to actually add to the front of this that will make it look a little bit better? Well, uh, I'm thinking if we get ourselves a pivot, we might be able to add some sort of, like, nice feature here. I don't know how this is gonna go. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't ask. If this goes horribly wrong, don't worry about it. But, I'm thinking we extend this across here for right now. We then get ourselves some of those microcontrollers that we've used on the sides, like these ones down here, one by fours, that's okay. And we shove it on here like this. So we do one. Oh, I can't actually... I can't do more than that. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying because I, I kind of want to do it like this. Um, but let's say we put that there as well. And we spawn this in. What does that do? It flops down, but it doesn't flop down enough. Yeah, okay, we can't do that then. Uh, but we will be doing something with pivots to try and make that look a little bit nicer in the future. Anyway, I think it might be time for the engine. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so, uh, first things first, let's go to the back end, and we'll actually add a hatch in order to actually repair this whenever it gets damaged. Hopefully, uh, we can actually just shove this onto here like this. There we go, and if we do need to repair it, we can just look in here and do it like that. All of this can actually get disappeared, that's okay, and we need to come up with an engine. Don't know how this is gonna go, but let's see. So, engine, yes. Um, I'm thinking like a small one, uh, but I don't know. So maybe a 3x3 three three would actually be pretty good. Um, or two engines? No, nah, I'm thinking one. So one, two, three. We might not be able to do three. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> we can't do three. Uh, ooh. Okay, maybe one, two. 
two engines like this. All right, this looks insane and very, very weird. But let's go ahead and cut these. Move them backwards to about there and paste them in and see if we can get away with this. That looks crazy, though. I'm not sure. Okay, so what we've got here is two three-cylinder engines. Uh, this one belongs to this one, and this one down here belongs to this one. I don't know whether we can actually tie them all in together. I think we might be able to. So I think that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. We're going to try and tie this engine to this engine to allow both of them to work at the same time. I don't know if that's a good idea. In fact, I'm almost certain this is a bad idea, but let's try it anyway. So type in engine again. There we go. We're going to go ahead and... I don't know, send this one this way. Send this one this way. I don't want to do it in this color. Let's do it in this color instead. So that one that way, this one this way. We're going to angle it upwards like so. We're going to do the same thing right here. And that's going to go straight into there. Although we don't want to do this on both sides. Oh no, maybe we do actually. So that's going to go into there like that. We then need a straight piece on each of these. And there we go, both engines are attached together. Nice. I don't know whether this is going to work, but we're going to try anyway. Okay, so the next thing we need is a clutch uh, thingamabobby, so yeah, I don't know. Is that how that's supposed to look? I think so. So that's the thing at the front. No, wait, no, that's not what I want, is it? That is not what I want, no. We need the clutch, and the clutch is actually going to go at the front of this one. Yeah, does that make sense? Maybe that doesn't make sense. Clutch at the back, okay. And then we're going to have to run a pipe to the front, which is not the way I wanted to do this, but there you go. Anywho, uh, from there, we need one of these to attach onto there. And that's it. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and start out these engines. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a starter on each of these, probably like three starters each, which is crazy. Uh, we're then going to run an alternator and stuff like that. And hopefully this will work in the end.
Okay, so I've whacked in a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. So, open the doors. Here we go. Uh, I've gone ahead and hopefully... Oh, I don't know if we'll fit in here. Let's go ahead and try and get through this. I wanted to try and get through this anyway, because, yeah, we're blocking it a bit with the turret, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and turn on the engine. Throttle it up. Drive. Yeah! Oh, my God. Holy. Holy! Ah! Okay, it's a bit fast. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, whoa! Okay, this is fine. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, um, yes, the engine works, um, which is good, I suppose. Uh, for those of you guys that were saying, maybe you need to work on, like, the armor of this thing. Honestly, when I build tanks in this game, armor isn't really a thing. Uh, it's not really a thing that I really think about either, because there's no real armor in the game. So I don't want to just, I don't want to deal with that. I just want to make something that looks nice, that drifts. And uh, works quite well, hopefully, anyway. So, um, there you go. We've added an engine to the beast. And it is... It's dealing with it, I suppose. Let's go ahead and throttle down a little bit, just so we're not going crazy. And see if it'll deal with that. Yeah, no, that's fine. Maybe a gearbox would actually be pretty good on this. But, um... Yeah, this actually drives really well at about 50% throttle. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Would you look at that? Nice. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and drive up into the quarry. It does want to drive to the left every so often. I'm not sure what that's all about, but there you go. Um, and yeah, it's actually fully working. That's so good. Oh, there we go. Nicely done. Excellent work, everybody. We did it. Cool. Uh, we don't have any parking brakes or anything like that, so this thing is just going to roll around. But it is totally working, guys. This is awesome. I even rammed it into a wall there, and it's fine. All right, good. So what I'm going to do now is actually change the color of the tank. So you guys know in the thumbnail, it's different. Yeah. Okay, so there it, go there it is in a different color. It is now tan, which still looks pretty awesome, to be honest. I think this looks great. Uh, we've got an engine inside of here now, so all we really need to work on next is uh, adding some ammo to the actual gun within the turrets, adding some sort of autoloader inside of there so that we don't have to have people in there, and that would be it. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed with this. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Anyway, gonna go ahead and open this up, see if we can see inside. I can probably jump inside there, actually. Let's see if we can get in. Oh, jump from back here. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, looking underneath, you can see the exhaust. This is actually our exhaust, which isn't the best. Uh, I am thinking about that, and I'm thinking maybe we can add some catalytic converters um, and change where that is, but it doesn't overly matter. Not really. All right, another thing that I don't mind doing, or I kind of want to do, actually, is adding some rope in between these guys. Might not be the best idea, but hey-ho, there you go. Whack all of these guys together. And then I think I'm going to attach one of these guys, actually probably a few of them, to the back end. So we're going to do some up there. There we go. Going to add some rockets. Rocket stuff. Here we go, to try and make it look a little bit nicer as well. And honestly, I think that does look pretty sick. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This tank's looking good so far. So, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next on this thing. Uh, whether you want to see the actual loader being built, or whether we should build something else on here. And we'll probably go from there. I'm actually going to go and attach this under here as well. Just because I think that actually looks pretty good. Yes. I'm also going to try and paint the back end of it, but I can't really see it. There we go, good. And is there anything else that I need to paint? I don't think so. I actually don't think so, no. All right, good. Cool. Well, anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. It's probably a lot shorter than the previous one, but I'm happy with this. I am very happy with this. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.